down, down, let me down, down, let me down, let me down, down, let me down. <clears throat> Gandang umaga mga katusok! Okay, so if you're new here in my channel, click the subscribe button and the bell button to be notified. And of course, watch this video that I'm gonna show you. So for today's video, you won't be seeing me. Um, me talking. Just this picture of me. That's all. Yes, usapang metek tayo ngayon. At para rin marinig ninyo, oo, ikaw na nanonood kahit hindi ka medtech. Para malaman mo kung ano-ano ang mga inaaral namin noon at hanggang ngayon. Because I would like to share with you my mnemonics in memorizing gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Oo guys, usapang medtech. Hindi, usapang bacteria tayo ngayon. So ano-ano bang mga pangalan nila? So, I will speak in English. Hindi ako nagpapakonyo, mga katuso. Kaya ako mag-English. I'm doing this because I would like to share this not only to Filipinos, but also to other nationalities out there who wants to know a quick way to memorize the names of bacteria and how to classify them. Okay, guys. So, let's start. <clears throat> so, here are my mnemonics. For gram-positive, I'm writing it down. Gram-positive and gram-negative cocci and bacilli. So, it's a little bit late. Why? Because the licensure examination for medical technologies here in the Philippines is done. So, late na to guys. But anyways, I just want to share this with you. So, let's start with gram-positive cocci. So, my mnemonics is S, L, silent O, V, and E. So, in here, it is so love. Gram-positive cocci is so love. Okay? S stands for Staphylococcus species and Streptococcus species. Okay? So, I will just put species as general and L for lactococci or lactococci, V for viridans, and E for enterococci. So, O stands for Pasalit-sali lang. All are aerobic, so it requires oxygen in order to grow. And there are others like peptococci, peptostreptococci, and sarsina. These uh, three bacteria are anaerobic or anaerobic, wherein they do not require oxygen in order to grow. Okay, guys, next, so, gram-positive cocci, so love. Next is gram-positive bacilli, okay. So, my mnemonics for gram-positive bacilli is, um, so, my mnemonics is A, B, C, and E. Okay, so, A, B, C, E, okay. A stands for actinomyces, B stands for bacillus, C stands for clostridium, and E, erysipelotrix. So, ayan. Medyo mabagal yung kamay ko magsulat, guys. So, bear with me. Okay, but wait, there's more. So, there are other bacteria, like uh, C stands for corinebacterium species. And L stands for, I, no, 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 Corinebacterium species and Cutibacterium species. L stands for Listeria and Lactobacillus. So, okay, and letter M in the Clostridium stands for Mycobacterium. Yeah, there are a lot of bacteria in this A, B, C, E. And then, I just want to add that, add this like actinomyces is an aerobe, clostridium is an aerobe, and also cutie bacterium. Cutie, cute, cute, guys. Cutie bacterium species. 
and then next guys let's move to this is gram negative cocci i will use the negative um sign for negative so a nice area number one and Moraxella. and the third one is valonella so we only have three bacteria in gram negative cocci both of these are aerobe and valonella is only is the only one which is anaerobe which does not require any oxygen in order to live or in order to grow now is gram negative bacilli all ending with e l l a or ella is in the gram negative bacilli category okay so like salmonella shigella klebsiella legionella bordetella brucella francisella and pasturella species all of these are involved or are categorized in the gram negative bacilli so all ending with e l l a or ella okay so i have a sample story here so you went to a camp so camp stands for campylobacter species through a helicopter so in here helicopter stands for helicobacter species okay and then next is so you went to a camp to a helicopter and there is water contamination so h2o stands for water caused by e coli or escherichia coli so the abbreviation is e coli so e coli and vibrio species so we all know that um, we can get Escherichia coli or Vibrio species infection through a water contamination. Rushed and then you were rushed to a hospital and acquired nosocomial infection. Okay. By Pseudomonas. So Pseudomonas species can cause acquired nosocomial infection. So in this case, in this case it is a bad experience. So it is negative. So it is considered gram negative bacilli. All bacteria in here are gram negative. So to sum up this video, um, so in gram positive cocci, so love, gram positive bacilli, A, B, C, E, gram negative cocci, no man is vain. So N, M, V, and gram negative bacilli, Ella story. Okay. So that's it for today mga katusok. Subscribe and stay tuned for more mnemonics, tips, and shortcuts. Bye-bye!